Hi, good evening. It's uh, Monday, April 20th, the evening. Thanks so much for being here. I want to continue what we started with this morning, and I think probably continue it most of the week. It's just to see what the Lord's Prayer and the commentary that Jesus has about this prayer in Matthew 6, how it can impact us in our lives right now, especially with some of the issues and stresses that are going on and the fact that these are very different times for us. It's just important to remember that they're not different for God. He's brought these things about so that we will trust him and honor him. So the portion of the Lord's Prayer we'll look at tonight says this. After he says, Our Father in heaven, hallowed holy be your name. He says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This means that the kingdom of God is in heaven and can be embraced on earth as well. This is the new kingdom that Jesus came to establish in his name. He did away with the old kingdom that was celebrated in the Old Testament. And now he is embracing this new kingdom where he will be the ruler and reign successfully. As he sits down and we see, read in Acts 2, Jesus sits down at the right hand of the Father and he begins to reign right at that point. But the connection here, this is what Jesus is saying, praying for the kingdom to come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Doing the will of God is participating in the kingdom of God. It's a really important thing to grasp onto. So Paul reminds us of in Colossians, that we've been rescued from the kingdom of darkness and brought into the kingdom of light of his dear son. So here's that connection. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There's a tight connection here. Now Jesus goes on to explain that to us just a little bit further down in the, in the passage. So beginning in chapter 6, verse 19, he makes this amazingly practical application. It's super impactful for today. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. If our treasure is here on earth, then we will be threatened by all the events of not just the issues with the virus, but just the troubles in life, the struggles that we have. Relationships will overwhelm us. The acquisition of money, thinking we can be safe, will overwhelm us. God is saying here, I mean, Christ is saying here directly to us, don't invest in earthly treasure as if that's going to be your security. Invest in treasure that will never wear out. The beauty of God's peace may, can never be taken from us. The wonder of our sins being forgiven can never be stolen from us. The fact that we are participating in the truth of the kingdom of God here on earth and in heaven, and they work together, that could never be taken from us. So let Jesus' words bring comfort tonight. Don't think your world is tied up in things that are going to be taken away and destroyed. Your world is secured by what Jesus did so that his kingdom in heaven, we now can embrace, at least to some degree here on earth, and that's a really good thought for this night. Rest well in that. Invest in the truths of God's kingdom. Don't be pulled away by falsehood. Don't be, true, be pulled away by things that mock God, but by things you can trust God with, because his kingdom is a kingdom that rules forever. And he has made us a part of that by the fantastic grace of his son. Rest well this night, my friends. Continue to pray and be an anchor for those who are very confused and scared because they've invested in things that will not last.
Lord bless you. Good night. We'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.